Welcome back to the Icon Diary. This diary will be somewhat different because we'll be looking at an icon I painted about two years ago when I wasn't filming. I, but this was an icon that I took photos of progressively as I was going. And you'll see quite a few differences actually in the way I painted then. It's an icon of Titus. And I used as a model an icon I bought on Crete. And it was painted by an old priest, apparently. And he would certainly painted a lot of them because there was a lot to choose from uh, in, the, uh, in the stock. And uh, it wasn't very expensive. It was the equivalent of about $25. And uh, I bought Titus because Titus was the first bishop of Crete. He was uh, taken there by the Apostle Paul and then he was asked to stay there to fix the church up. The book or the letter of Paul to Titus in uh, the New Testament is quite small and Paul gives an outline of what's expected of Titus. He says, I left you behind in Crete for this reason, so that you should put in order what remained to be done and should appoint elders in every town as I directed. Someone who is blameless, married only once, whose children are believers, not accused of debauchery and not rebellious. For a bishop as God's steward must be blameless. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or addicted to wine or violent or greedy for gain, but he must be hospitable, a lover of goodness, prudent, upright, devout and self-controlled. Across the road from the shop where I bought my icon was the church of St Titus. The iconostasis featured St Titus over there on your left. Uh, elsewhere there was another icon of St Titus, very much younger here, uh, but the the icon on the iconostasis was of Titus older, of course, and also wearing the um, vestments of a bishop. So there's the version that the old priest painted for me, and there's a version of the icon that I painted. Uh, this series of slides uh, shows uh, the work that I did sitting back somewhat and the, the chaos of my uh, uh, desk uh, and the view out the window that I have to put up with. But uh, I'll come back to the shots with close-ups to uh, give um, more detail as to what was going on. Because it was some time ago, I can't remember all that I did, particularly say the colours I was using. I think this is burnt sienna on the book and the underside of the outer garment, and a burnt sienna, a burnt umber on the uh, uh, the outside of the outer garment. The blue is certainly uh, ultramarine, knocked back with the uh, burnt umber and adding white for the uh, pallium, the uh, outer uh, swooping garment that has the crosses on it that is uh, worn by bishops. And the book was decorated also with the yellow ochre. The outside is yellow oxide and then the halo and the inscription painted in burnt sienna. The initial sketching was done with yellow ochre and water and then made a little bit stronger by adding egg. Then with burnt umber, again an egg tempera, 
the uh, main features of the hand and faces and <laughs> hand and face were uh, uh, put in and then uh, looks like I've put a glaze in yellow, uh, golden ochre over the face and the hand and then worked up the features of the face adding uh, titanium white to a flesh uh, mixture uh, progressively adding white and then using burnt umber to outline the features more precisely and more white to accentuate the uh, the brightest highlights on the face and hand before starting on the clothing and the book here uh, I've used uh, burnt sienna it's very like red ochre and uh, a, a beautiful color the outside of the outer garment is in um, burnt umber uh, with a very dark burnt umber for those hard lines and then adding titanium white to do uh, two shades of um, of highlights I never do highlights like this now but it was very much the way in which the uh, old priest had done his icon that I bought in Crete blue ultramarine blue is very bright and blingy and I often knock it back with burnt umber and it makes a very nice shade so for the inner garment that's what I've done and for the pallium the outer uh, vestment worn by priests I've also just added titanium white to that mix and then progressively titanium white to uh, make it a white garment and then Mars black for the crosses it just remained then to decorate the book and for this I used uh, yellow ochre and some titanium white and it worked out uh, quite well so then uh, yellow oxide was the background and all that remained then was for the burnt sienna halo and inscription to be applied